time to fill these raised beds. Let's go! I have to admit, I was feeling pretty intimidated by how much compost we had to move. By my calculations, it would take 40 wheelbarrows to fill all of our new raised beds. I knew with my physical limitations, there was no way I could do it all. Certainly not in one day. What I didn't know is that Ryan would step forward and he would volunteer to do all 40 wheelbarrows. Can he do it? Can he do it all in one day? here on this cold, blustery, cool day because we have some very important work to get done. These beds are getting filled up with all of our wonderful compost. I'm pretty excited. We're over halfway done filling the beds. I should say he is over halfway done. <laughs> He's been working hard all morning. I'm potting some stuff up, getting some cuttings into pots, so we'll be ready for the farmer's market next month and gonna start putting some stuff right into these beds. Got a few cold weather crops in this bed. These were just some leftovers and they never made it in the ground and they were just in pots so they weren't doing so great. Plus the chickens had pecked at them. So this gives them a chance to try to survive. about creating a permaculture garden even though I'm using raised beds is that we're going to utilize every square inch of space so even though these beds are going to be planted with bigger plants the outer inch of the soil is a great spot to squeeze in these hydroponic lettuce that we rescued even if we don't eat that much lettuce we have lettuce to share or to sell at the market or even just to use it as a ground cover so that it can prevent weeds. It's still a win-win situation. This lettuce has been acclimated to these cold temperatures. It has already stayed out overnight in below uh, 40 degrees. It has gone down to 30. It's nice and hardy and, and able to withstand tonight's lower temperatures. And doesn't it look nice? 
It's so green and pretty. I love it. As Ryan fills the last two beds, I am raking them out, getting them all nice and smooth. Kind of like a Zen garden, like one of those sand gardens that you put on your desk at work when you work for an office job and you want to be gardening all day. It's like the rake. It's so soothing. How does it feel, Ryan? It feels like pain. No, it, feels pretty... <laughs> it feels pretty good. Yeah. You're on the last bed. Uh, almost. I got one more wheelbarrow to put in there, and then I've got the little bed on the end here. So, Are you excited almost... to almost be done? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you for doing all this hard work. It's awesome for us to have the ability to do this so we can do an even better job of growing our own food. Amen to that. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You worked hard. I did. I did. That was a, a lot of hard work actually. Um, quite a bit of hard work and it's worthwhile to do some hard work I found. Especially on the front end of things. Doing all the hard work now, getting all these beds filled now, that's going to make us able to plant them with lovely vegetables all spring, all summer into the fall and into next season. So don't be scared to do a little bit of hard work. And if you're unable to do the hard work yourself, don't be scared to ask. Believe it or not, there are other people that are, that f do find enjoyment in doing work like this. I cannot wait to get my hands in the soil tomorrow. I got a little taste of it today with some of our cool weather crops. And tomorrow we get to plant our tomatoes and peppers and some flowers and maybe a few seeds even. But we'll definitely get the plants that we already have started in the ground and give them a full week of beautiful growing. It'll be good weather all week. So they should be very happy and well adjusted. And we just have to make sure that the chickens stay away from the garden. <laughs> right <laughs> that's, that's the next challenge okay. yeah yeah we have two or three or four there's like three or four that are continuously getting out so tonight we're gonna clip their wings and keep them away from our garden awesome i can't wait to plant it me too thank you i love you love you thank you for watching we'll see you next time on wholesome roots